Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did a lot of things around the forest, and uh, got a couple of heart pieces, and a couple of upgrades, and in this episode, we will be doing a little bit more of that, just around Kakariko, and hopefully we will actually go and, um, you know, continue on with our quest. So, let's go talk to this lady right here. What should I do? My cuckoos have all, f all flown away. You little boy, please, please help me bring them back to the this pen. All right, so this this lady wants us to get her chickens and round them up and bring them back to her and put them in the uh, little chicken pen right here. I believe there are like six or seven of these things scattered throughout uh, Kakariko Village. We have two right now. There's another in this this uh crate right here but the thing is you actually need to have a chicken or two I, I always call them chickens they're get out of my way they're uh, they're called cuckoos you need some cuckoos to get other ones let me just no that's that jumps not possible I, I was just wondering I've never tried that before so I'm gonna use this cuckoo to get that cuckoo which is right next to um, an important house. I'm not going to spoil it if you don't know. We'll be going there soon. But this house actually does have some importance to the game. Let's just grab this chicken. Take him over to the pen. And go grab that other chicken that we were using and let's use him again. So just take him. We're going to go to the top of that of these stairs right here, right next to the windmill. And we are going to cross that little this little ledge right here. And we're gonna go over here. There we go. Just throw the cuckoo down. And Oh jeez, I almost fell in the hole. That would have been bad because falling in the hole means you have to restart the whole little side quest and all over again. And I'm not saying that's really bad, but it's not really that fun to just gather chickens twice in a row. So let's climb this ladder here. And we're gonna get some some more cuckoo action. Alright, so there's another one right here. Just grab him. Bring him around the windmill. Jump down. And, uh, you know what? Let's try to throw him. Ah, oh, we didn't we didn't get him in the pen. We wanted him in the pen. But I guess that's not gonna happen today, because I can't get the, the things I want. I can't do it. It's not it's not plausible. I'm not allowed the things I want. Not allowed. So just grab the other two that you found earlier. Um I'm pretty sure there's another one over here. Like up in the upper area of Kakariko Village. Just uh, get over here. I'm pretty sure it's behind a, a house or something. Or it might just be... Yep, it's right there. Just grab him. And uh, take him. And... We'll just put him in a hole or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, I'm... Oh, I was a little weird right there. I, I was starting to fly with the chicken before I was even off the roof. So let's just grab this last chicken and uh, bring him over here. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. And for that, we get a bottle. Ooh. Bottles are really useful in this game, as I said earlier. Now, we'll be heading to the graveyard, but there's one thing I need to do. I need to fill this bottle with insects. That's right. I need to find bugs around here. I don't know where you can find them. I actually forget. Pretty sure there's a spot in the, uh, in the graveyard where you can find bugs. But basically, I just want to take some bugs and put them in a jar or something. Because... Yep, right here. So just get these bugs, 
and uh, we're actually going to bring them over here to this spot and as you can see there's a little dirt in the ground you can see a small mound of soft soil here so basically just drop the bugs and they'll crawl into the hole and uh, basically that'll just I don't know how but it will it will turn them into a golden skull tula I don't know how that works but it does and here it is the golden skull tula so now we have nine golden skull tula coins I'm gonna go back and get a, another bottle full of the, those bugs because bugs oh they're not here anymore alright fair enough bugs are really useful in this game it's nice to have a bottle of them around any like at all times usually a bottle of two of them is nice because if you have a bottle of bugs you can I guess multiply them it's it's weird but I'll show you how when I have another free bottle so just grab another bottle of bugs and continue on so now we will be getting a couple more golden skulltulas but we need to turn it to night and uh, all of these other golden skull tulas are actually around Kakariko Village. So now that it's nighttime, let's go find them. There's like like five of them around. Yeah, there's a lot we can get right now. So just there's one right here. Let me just get my uh, my slingshot and hit him because he'll knock me off for sure. No, god, god damn it! Let me just... There we go. Now we have ten. So now let's just go over here and grab the second one. There's eleven. Now there's one in that tree over there. Hopefully this guy won't try to talk to me. I don't want to talk to him. He'll drop out of the tree. Now, that's number 12 right there. Now there's another one. You see that little... What am I saying? That big tower right there. There's one on the tower. On the ladder of the tower, to be precise. You're going to want to shoot it down with the... Fairy Slingshot. This is like the only time that the fairy slingshot is ever useful in collecting bugs when you don't have the better way because there's another way of collecting bugs far away that's even more useful than the fairy slingshot much more useful so there's number 13 and uh... there's one more left it's uh... just behind this building right here so just go around and here we are. Number 14. That's 14 Golden Skull Tulas. We're already 15, no, 14% done with that. What am I saying? So, actually, now what we're gonna do. I was thinking about what we're doing because we have a couple of things we can do now. We can continue on with some side quests, or we can actually bring this letter to the guard over here and show it to him. I think I'm gonna show the, the letter to the guard. Oh, oh, I, I wanted to talk to you, I'm sorry. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Hey, oh, I see, you're just a kid and you can't read yet. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny, that's, that's really funny. I got a sword, you know. I could kill you. No, you got a spear, but not... You know, there, your legs hurt. You know what, let's just continue. So just show the letter to the guard, and he'll... He'll just be like, oh, this. This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see, hmm. Okay, this is Link. He is under my orders to stay if I rule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Alright, so now he'll open that little gate right there but he has one more thing to ask us um, he wants us to go get a proper shield which I actually got from the graveyard in the third episode 
or the fourth episode, I don't know. So we should go back to Hyrule Castle Town and check the bazaar and get that shield, which will cost around 80 rupees. So it's much more efficient to get the shield in the graveyard. Now he's going to ask another favor of us, and he's just going to ask, you know, have you been to the Happy Mask Shop? It's, it's This is the beginning of a giant just trading side quest. I'm going to start it, actually, now thinking about it. I am going to start this side quest right now. So this little conversation right here, it opens up the Happy Mask Shop where we can go and, you know, get a mask. He wants us to get this little mask called the Keaton Mask, and I am going to go get that for him. Now, to do this little side quest, though, you're going to need a couple of rupees. 20 should be fine, but if you don't, just look around for some rupees. If you've been following me, if you're even following me, then you should have enough rupees to start this side quest. So right now I'm just going to head back to Hyrule Castle Town and get the Keaton Mask. Got to turn it to daytime first, though. There we go. And now everything should be good. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Don't hit me. So as you can see, the drawbridge is actually down. I wish, I wish. I could walk faster in this game. That is the one thing that I don't like about this game. Because this is one of my favorite games. I... People... Are... Have mixed feelings about this game. I mean, some people call it one of the greatest games of all time. And then on the other side, there's people saying, This game is one of the worst. It has big problems. And I, I don't believe that. I believe... I wouldn't call it a masterpiece, but I'd call it a great game, for sure. So in the market, just go over to this little mask shop right here. You can clearly see it's a mask shop, because it has a giant mask on top. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and you bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. You know what? Let's buy the Keaton mask for 10 rupees. I borrowed the Keaton mask. And uh, let's go bring it to that, that guard over there. He really wanted that for his little boy. So we'll bring it to him. The only problem about this is it's a long walk, so I think I'm going to cut to it. Alright, so here we are in Kakariko Village. Before I actually give the mask to the, to the guard, there's one more thing I want to do. Um, it is actually time to go into this little house right here. I've been calling things little a lot, I've just noticed that. I'm like, let's go into this little house, let's go into this little area right here, you know, little, little, little... I need to stop that. We look like this because of the spider's curse, but since you destroyed 14 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids who return the norm to normal give you any rewards? You should know that the only way to become rich is to destroy as many spiders of the curse as possible. There are some tricks to finding them all. I don't care. I. I've memorized them. I know where they are. So, yeah, these people were actually cursed. And the only way to undo the curse is to get all these spiders, uh, Golden Skull Tula coins. This guy gives you an adult's wallet, which lets you carry a lot more money. Actually, it gives you double of the money, which is really helpful. But we could do better, I'm pretty sure. Why, why did I just roll into the door? So now, let's just go give the Keaton mask to the guard. Let's just go... I can wear the Keaton mask, I look pretty. I look like a baller, don't I? I look like a baller. Yeah, it's because I'm a baller like that. I'm a, I'm a baller, you know. Jesus, I hate... I'm, I'm not too fond of people who say that. I think it makes them look stupid. Let's just wear the mask and talk to them. 
Wahaha! <laughs> Do you think you're dis you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. Here's my boy's favorite. That key something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Yeah, sure, no no problem. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. Wahaha! <laughs> you sold the ten rupee mask for fifteen rupees. You earned a little profit. So, yeah, I just got five rupees of profit. I know, pretty good, pretty good. But, um, you know what? Let's head up the mountain right now. This is a pretty long video, but um, I think I'm I'm just going to head up to mount, the mountain, show you a little bit of what's to come, and uh, then I'll end off the video. So... This is probably one of my favorite areas in any Zelda game. I really like Death Mountain here. I don't know, it's probably a nostalgic feeling. I always got stuck at this point so uh, when I was younger, so this is probably the area I spent the most time like in any game ever, probably. Because when I was like maybe six or seven, I always got stuck at this point right here. I was just like, what do I do now? Oh, let's just go outside to the mountain, and I'd be like screwing around at th in this mountain doing nothing, nothing very like good, at least. So all we have to do is climb up all the way up the mountain, and uh, as you saw that little thing right there, oh, oh, geez, he's coming at us. Uh, earlier, that little ball, that's actually a person. Well, not a person, but a Goron. Gorons are, uh, I guess, little rock creatures. I gotta stop calling things little. I really need to stop that. And here is their city, the Goron City, as it is so correctly named. Let's talk to some of them. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from the hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Dodongos live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around here are found at the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. <sighs> I want to eat the rocks from the... I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's cavern. So, obviously, there's an area blocked off where they get their food from. So, th that's a problem. Hey, it's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must be meaning that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay just to give a tiny lick. So I snuck out here, but it's already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Oh, so some some guy they call Big Brother has locked himself in his room with the spiritual stone. He's waiting for someone from the royal family. Well, I happen to be from the royal family. So we will fix this problem in the next episode. Thanks for thanks for watch for what? Oh, gee, the camera. Camera, stop. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Oh, camera.